Well, sometimes the science behind climate change doesn't always show itself in tangible ways. This story is not one of those. Why are roads and homes in Alaska being modified due to the impacts of climate change? Well, the answer is permafrost. And joining us live now from Washington, D.C. is USA Today reporter Wendy Koch. Wendy, thanks for being with us. I got to ask you, are we really doing stuff like insulating roads? Absolutely, and, and that may sound crazy, but it helps to um, keep the permafrost frozen. And uh, so um, in, in Alaska, they're actually laying uh, sheets of polystyrene foam, the kind that you use in home insulation. They're laying it underneath roads before they pave over them. But what about homes and homes foundations are keeping those homes from being susceptible to that? Well, they're also doing things like adjustable piers in homes so that um, if, if a house starts tilting because of per thawing permafrost, they can re-level it each year. So explain to our viewers, if you can, what the importance of permafrost actually is for this part of the world. Well, permafrost is huge. It covers most of Alaska, actually. And the reason that it's so important is that underneath there is um, plant organic matter, leftover plants and animals. And as it thaws, it releases uh, heat trapping greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. So it further warms the air and that then makes more permafrost th thaw. So it basically it almost becomes its own cycle. Uh, is, is there any way locally to help prevent this from, from so rapidly thawing? Well, there are things to do. I mean, uh, locally they're trying to do things like um, insulating roads and, and, and matters like that. But on a more global scale, because this does have global implications. I mean, it's, this isn't just affecting Alaska, this is affecting all of us. Uh, the idea is that, that we're going to have to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, Wendy, it's truly fascinating, no question about it. Really appreciate you being with us this morning. Wendy Koch, live from Washington, D.C. You can find more on this story on USA Today's website and on weather.com.